The following is a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live. The Branded Athlete, featuring in-depth interviews with and commentary on today's biggest and most successful athletes. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host of Black Hollywood Live, The Branded Athlete. Hey, 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 we're we're jamming like we do every on, Thursday Robert. night. What? Excuse me. I don't know. I'm trying to. Let me feel. This I'm saying this Hi. gonna make you want to listen to the whole song. It's called A Team. This is Dre's pick, by the way, guys. So, so. that means no one knows it. <laughs> it, hey, <laughs> it. Hey, hold I don't on. know. It's falling man. flat so far. It. The, the, I, I, I hear a little bit of words. You, you hear a little bit of words? Okay. Maybe. Well, well just go li- listen it's, to it. It's more of a mellow you. song. It's a mellow song. Tell us who, who's the artist. What's the name of it? Um, I forgot the artist. Okay, awesome. Travis <laughs> Scott. <laughs> it's it's no, Travis wait, Scott. You, you it's Travis song, Scott. Man. Guys, you are watching the <laughs> Brandon Athlete on Black Hollywood Live every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Um, we have a special guest, but before we get to our man of the hour, I'm Erica Renee Davis. You can follow me on Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, and Instagram at Erica Renee D. Andre the Giant, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that. A U N D R E T H A G I A N T. What's up? And I'm Raina Ale. You can find me on Instagram at Twitter at Re- and Twitter at Raina underscore Ale. What's up, people? My name is Joshua Johnson, man of many talents. Find me on Instagram and Twitter at JJ the Talented. And you can follow all things Black Hollywood on BlackHollywoodLive.com. Follow Black Hollywood Live on Twitter at BHL Online and follow this group of crazy people. Hey. Except for me. On Instagram <laughs> at the crazy Branded cool. Athlete. Yeah, we're crazy. Man of the hour, the man of the plan, the, the guest of honor. Raina, you want to do that? Yes, I have the pleasure of introducing the man, Leon McFadden, New York Giants player. Let's start off Inglewood's very own. Okay? (laughs) Not LA. Not LA. LA. Not LA. We got that right. (laughs) San Diego State alum, drafted in 2013 by the Cleveland Browns, and now he's currently a cornerback for the New York Giants. Leon, thank you for coming tonight. No problem. Thank you guys for having me. Just don't (laughs) give me too big laws. <laughs> and Leon, that. T- tell everyone out there where we can find you on social media. Uh, only Instagram, uh, Lee Mac Two, Lee underscore M A C Two, and uh, or you can type in Leon McFadden, and that'll be me. And we gotta get you a Twitter. Yeah, man. why are you yeah. on Twitter? Yeah. This is the brand I, I, I don't know, man. Twitter, just, I've never been a fan. It's about branding yourself. Man, right? Twitter, Snapchat, all of that. I don't know, man. Well, I try maybe to avoid after it. tonight, you can probably make one, and then we can be your first. That's right. Okay, sounds good. So, okay, so let's bring us back to draft day. What was it like when you heard your name called by the Cleveland Browns? Man, it's actually a funny story. Uh, I'm trying to make it short, though, but uh, I had a little draft party, um, Anaheim at ESPN Zone, and had a couple family friends. It happened to be my dad's birthday as well, oh. so it was kind of dope set up, and uh, it was nerve-wracking. Uh, looking at my phone, checking my phone, Made a big announcement ahead of time. Don't ask me where I'm going, who I'm getting drafted to, because that can be, you know, irritating. But it was nerve-wracking. But I had my family there, so it was kind of it was it was good to be around good people. So second round went, didn't go. Nervous. My mom said, you know, come in, you know, eat something with me. I I was away from everybody, kind of like trying to stand off. It's just looking at my phone, waiting for a call. Went in, started eating with my mom. Place didn't have any service. So mm-hmm. they try calling me, you know, wow. let me know, are you, are, are you ready oh to be a Brown? Yeah, are you ready man. to be a Brown? Like cricket wireless? Man. No, I <laughs> see, no, 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 Got that Boost Mobile, bro. No, 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 no. He wasn't making the NFL money yet. He had that prepaid. Oh, here we go. So they couldn't get into contact with me. They called my agent. My agent couldn't get in contact with me. Called my parents. Picked up the phone like 10 seconds before the pick went across the board. and. They asked me if I'm ready to be a Brown. I was going to say no. Hell yeah, I'm ready to come. I'm ready to come be a Brown. And that's how it happened. And it, from that moment on, it was emotional, you know. And 
I was, I was, you, I was blessed, you know, so that, that was a good thing. And let me ask you this, um, and this is not particularly pertaining to you, but maybe you can give me your insight on it. So I was listening to Sports Talk Radio this week, and they were talking about how some of the top quarterbacks um, who were projected to go high are going to actually drop in the draft. And then someone said, oh, well, they're probably happy because no one wants to go to the Browns. What, what is, no, hold on, I'm just, no, hold on, hold on. I'm not knocking the Browns. I mean, it's still Patriots. Sure. It's still a Patriots. <laughs> but so, what is a player's insight? What, what's, your, what's a player perspective when you're waiting to hear your name called? Are you thinking, man, I hope it's not the Browns, or I hope it's not the Bills, or I hope it's not, you know, the Texans? Right. Are you in your mind trying to pray see, that you get the Cowboys or the Giants or the 49ers or somebody who's better? See. The correct, the correct way to answer this question is it really doesn't matter <laughs> who's going to come to that check. You know what I mean? It just depends on who the person is, really. In all actuality, you're going to be happy getting drafted. Okay. You know, that's, that, that's a great opportunity, and it's on you to take advantage of it. So I'll say not to think that way. To, to like, oh, I hope not. But at the end of the day, people think differently on that. Okay. Answer, very PC. I like that. Yeah. 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 Listen, he was you, prepped very well. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, he was <laughs> ready. Draft day for you was on your, your dad's birthday, and he played professional baseball. Correct. So growing up, did you always know that you wanted to be a professional athlete, or was that pressure on you at all? Uh, No, my dad kind of, he didn't put any pressure on me as far as, like, pushing towards his sport at all, but he would tell me if I was going to do something, I had to do it all the way. Mm. You know, 100%, anything I did – I had to participate and do it, what I could to be the best. So he always pushed me to my potential. And sometimes growing up, I was like, man, get off my back, man. I'm trying to, you know, play and right. have fun. But at the same time, it, now I know him kicking me in my butt every day, you know, pushing me was was to benefit me in the end. And it did. So I really commend him on that and appreciate him doing that. That's no big, doubt. Yeah. Word up. He from the Mountain West, man. You know what I mean. So, you know, so, so he gonna say the right little, thing. He well, he well taught, well man, coached. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying. He gonna I'm say the saying, right thing. I mean, that's the truth. No, though, no, man. no, no, not, not even. No, I'm not saying like I'm saying like that. That's what's up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Well, you, you gotta know where it comes from, and you gotta know why you are where you are, no exactly. matter where where it is, exactly. where, where you come from. You know what I mean. And I commend you for that, brother. Yes, sir. You know, my, I'm showing Mountain play, West love. Did yeah. y'all play each other? We played each other. And TCU. You know what I'm saying. I mean, the outcomes is not important right now. Ah. <laughs> they almost got us though, for Man. sure. I, I think one year. They yeah, almost yeah, my got sophomore year, sure. but you know, I took four losses in the four years. But I'm, you know, so I'm good though. It's it's okay. Okay. You still it's playing? Good. I'm not. So uh, hey, I commend nah. you for that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it. For sure, for sure. What is um? What's your favorite thing about playing in the NFL? Man, just playing, just being involved. Like that. The, on Sundays, it's like a feeling that you really can't explain. Like. When you're a kid in the front yard throwing the ball to yourself, like oh, and you're 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 um, doing the commentary yourself or doing the broadcast, yeah. like oh, Leon's gonna score this or do that, and then now actually living the dream, it's like it was surreal when I got drafted. Like it really didn't hit me till that first game, mm. you know what I mean? And it it was like I, I can't really put like a one word on how it felt, but it was amazing though. I could tell you that. Okay. Well, duh. Growing up, uh, who, which athlete did you say like you you? you uh, modeled your game after? Um, a couple different guys. You know, I, I watched the Dion. I, I, I watched Darrell Revis because that was, like, the guy to watch, mm -hmm. you know, like, of, my, of the that era. And it was like, that guy, he was just so talented. And what is he doing that I can help, you know, take from his game to help mm -hmm. my game even better? And then another guy who I was compared to as far as in college was uh, Brent Grimes, and I really studied him and liked his style of play. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to add this to my little repertoire. Okay. So, so a lot of guys now can follow you since you're yes. in the NFL spotlight. Yeah. And you went to uh, Bosco Prep, John Bosco. Yeah, St. John Bosco. In high school who won the – they typically have a good football team. Yes. They won the uh, CIF – actually, they made the CIF uh, Southern Section – was the the finals this past this year. This past year, lost, lost to Corona. Lost to Corona. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. My, my question is, though, how often do you get out there to kind of – mentor those guys. I know you have a camp out there. Yeah. But do you had you get a chance to actually like um talk to any guys from this past year's team? Uh I haven't I've talked to their uh running back that's going up to Washington, Sam and he's uh That's right. Uh, he's a, Sean, is it Sam Sean, or Sean, 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 Sean McGrew. Yeah. yeah. And he uh was really like the main guy I spoke to uh Jaleel Wadu who's now at uh UCLA playing safety there. And a couple of those guys um Every so often when I come back in the off season, I'll go up there, maybe work out a little bit, go talk talk to the coaches. And then, again, when I'm doing that camp, a lot of them come out and uh, work the camp. And, like, we just kind of chop it up a little bit and talk about this upcoming season and what their college plans are. And I just I shoot it to them straight on how I did it and, and how to go about it. 
That's what's up, That's man. Giving back. So you should to tell us a little bit about the camp. Like what? what oh, okay. What, what every every camp? year, uh, just started it up. Uh, this will be the second one this year. Uh, I do a cold with St. John Bosco in the summertime, ages uh, from uh, seven to fourteen, and uh, it's a it's a four day camp. And what we try to do is each day we'll work half the camp offensive positions, half the camp defensive positions, and then I try to do a little surprise at the end of camp. Like last year, I had like hot dog on a stick. They come and uh, set up shop yeah, after yeah. so, so. Yeah, That's you know. it. So yeah, I try to dip, think of different ways, you know, just get the kids motivated, you know, get them active. And is it more just like fundamental, like skills, you know? Uh, more, uh, more, uh, more so fundamental skills. We tried to add in on the last day little one on ones. It was like, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, all your kids, like, I want, yeah. I want him. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, so, no doubt. So it's all, it's all about fun and competing. So I just try to, you know, put that in their heads, like, you know, do, have fun with it, compete, and, and just like, don't don't let anybody tell you like you couldn't do it. That's the main thing because a lot of people will tell somebody that you can't do this and that, and kids, you know, like their their whole spirits are down That's and true. confident. That's awesome. Speaking That's of real. people not being able to do, Cam Newton's been in the news recently talking about how people told him that he couldn't do and that he shouldn't be where he is. In his most recent statements, he talked about um, people not knowing how the critics not knowing how to handle him because he's a black quarterback who's never done what he's doing at the level that he's doing it. What do you think about? Um, how the criticism that Cam Newton has gotten as a quarterback. I think he's handling it great. Mm -hmm. And the thing about Cam Newton, he's actually out there having fun. Mm -hmm. He's actually out there enjoying himself. And the fact of the matter is, you can't get mad at a guy who's enjoying the job that he loves to do. Yeah. And it's like, he's his biggest critic. So mm -hmm. I, I he feels like whatever anybody else says, it, it really doesn't matter, I feel. And, and that's how it should be. And that's the right way to approach it. Solid. I agree sure. with that. So, Super Bowl predictions. Yes. Can we give, uh, can you give us your thoughts? We're not going to give you ours, but you give us yours. Yeah. We'll do ours next week. Okay. Go, I, I, could be a, I could be a little biased on it, right? Yeah. Because yeah, 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 it's like I, Cam Newton. Yeah. Overcoming, you know, tell, everybody telling him not to do it. Underdog. Always underdog. San Diego State. Yeah. You know about that. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so, TCU, so, always underdog. Yeah, always <laughs> underdog. No, no, no. We ain't the underdog in the Mountain West. <laughs> we ain't talking about them just the Mountain West. Y'all okay. was the underdog in the Mountain West. <laughs> yeah. But we was the underdogs in general. Okay, okay, okay. Right? We say, always yeah, yeah. was fighting. We have an undefeated season. And then they always try to kick us out. Say, Put oh, you in that weak bowl game. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, we both felt it a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, so Cam Newton, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, I I want them to know them. But at the same time, Peyton Manning, end of his career, leave on top. You know what I mean? I, yeah. Ronnie Hillman was a teammate of mine, San Diego State. Okay. Plays plays for Denver, so it's kind of pick one and give us yeah, give us a winner one, and give us the score <laughs> because we're gonna go ahead. We gotta H, put uh, 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 what? Uh, Panthers. I'll do the Panthers. I'll, I'll say the Panthers. Uh, we need, we need a score give us a score. Too? Yeah, we need a score. We need a score. Yeah, right. whatever. Throw it out there. We need a score. There, there's a prize involved if you're correct. I'm gonna go uh penalty if you're not. Twenty three seventeen. Okay. Oh all right. Okay. Awesome. Twenty three seventeen. Okay. All right. I got you. We're gonna um oh can we go into hot yes. takes? Okay, good. So um talking about the Clippers, Blake Griffin this week punched the assistant equipment manager, broke his um, his right hand. I think the fight started in the restaurant in Toronto, went outside. Of course, Blake was already injured with his quadricep. Um, he was already out, missed about, I think, a month a month's worth of games. So now he's going to be out another four to six weeks. My question is this. How do you think the league should discipline Blake Griffin? And um, what do you think this means for the Clippers' chances of having a deep playoff run? You go first. Ooh, put me on the hot seat first. Yep. Uh, this is my first time hearing the actual story. So, yeah, I so guess. he basically punched his friend, who's an assistant equipment manager for the Clippers. They're buddies. They've been hanging out for a while. They go but, on vacation. But they, yeah, they go on they're vacation close. together. Like, they're like, really close. They're homeboys. So, so it was more so a brotherly fight? It was maybe? a brotherly yeah. fight. Right. Yeah. But he's still employed but, but by the Clippers. Know that. By the Clippers. Yeah, and there oh, yeah. there was drinking allegedly. There was drinking involved. Say some witnesses. So where did he punch him at? Was it in the locker room? In or was the, it at the no, restaurant? No, it was in the restaurant, restaurant and outside. Inside in the and outside. So oh, he punched so it didn't him. They went out there. No. And, yeah. and, it, and it, he was. They were with um, DJ DeAndre Jordan yeah. and uh, another the assistant trainer. I think Joe Resendez. Oh yeah. So it was it was four of them. It was but, four of them. But Griffin did the punching. Yeah. So yeah. So him. so what say you about how the NBA should discipline Blake? Uh. Again, that's gonna be up to the league. I mean, it's it's just never hit it's it's hit or miss with the with the uh, discipline board. You know what I mean? If they wanna 
suspend him for X amount of games or fine him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be what they're going to come down to if this was like a... He broke his hand, you said, right? Yeah, he did. So it's going, yeah. it's got, I think the, the Clippers organization is going to be kind of more so in the, like heard about it. So yeah. they're going to have to put some disciplinary... That's true. Okay. So I, yeah. I, I, I think I think he's gonna get a hefty fine. Okay. I'm I'm with you on that. I I think it's more of a, it's more of a Clippers issue than a league issue. I think the league really doesn't have anything to do with the the punishment. They shouldn't. I think this is more of like a Clippers family issue because it says more to more about them as an organization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What they choose to do going forward with Blake. Yeah. And of course, this is gonna hurt them because he's out four to six weeks, and on top of that, you got the playoffs coming up in a couple months. I hope it's after this four to six weeks, and they they thinking about a suspension after that. So I think it's more of a Clippers issue because they need to yeah. have it. Because you know the coach is more about is all about family. He's yeah. All, you know he's all about the Clippers as a family. So you know we need to see some discipline from the Clippers as a family and see yeah. how they handle it. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that he's probably gonna get a really big fine. Yeah. But I think that he's already punished enough because he's been out so long with his quad and now he's out with his hand. How long? I, uh, four, six weeks, I think, Four right? to six weeks with the hand, but he's already been out since December 21st. Mm. So. But that wasn't his punishment. I, think, I mean, he needs to be face something. I mean, a, I know, I agree, but, like, as a player, though, like, that's, he's probably just feel so stupid. Like, yeah. And also, um, I think his teammates should be, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I... I say Chris. I'm pretty sure Chris Paul's pissed off. DeAndre Jordan's pissed mm -hmm. off. Playoffs are coming up. Like you have your it's a main big player. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, come on. Well, so. the Clippers uh, Clippers do well without them. Yeah, we we we've been. I'm a Clipper fan. I'm a Clipper fan as well. That's why I said I hope it's a hope they're twelve and three. <laughs> <laughs> what a connection. They're twelve and three without them. Yeah. So. So. But let's see what um but, let's see what this one has to say. <laughs> 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 nah, man, you know me. I, I just feel like um, you know. It's sad that as an athlete, no matter no matter where you are, no matter what position you are, especially at the higher level, one of the top athletes, that if something like this happens, you can't just deal with it with your homeboy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, it's sad that it has to go out in the media, and now he has to tweet, and now he has to do that. You know what I mean? But it, it, it's, 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 it's a double standard because you know what you signed up for when True. you signed up to play the game. True. So for me, it's – I mean, I, I think that he should – he shouldn't be punished, but he's going to be punished. You yeah. see, he missed the game, and I think the shit's really ridiculous, to be honest, because they're friends. They, they've had a history of knowing each other before this, but... It, it, it's just it's just unfortunate that cats can't shit can't happen yeah. like that, and you just that's my boy, and just going about your yeah. business, and now everybody got to know sure. about it. Like you really made a mistake. Well, why why should yeah, he be punished? Still. I mean, he's a he's a big part of the team. He's a multi million dollar athlete. He's an asset to the yeah, team. But everybody like, fights and gets. If you do that and, and put your, yourself in jeopardy, you're putting the team in jeopardy. You're putting money in jeopardy. So. Yeah, but you have to face some kind of consequence. I mean, I, I they, like I said, it's sad that there has to be some type of consequence. To be honest, because they're friends, bro. I mean, it's not like this happened in a meeting. It's not like this happened on Clipper after premises. the game. That's right. what I thought. It, yeah. I thought yeah. it happened. You know in what the I mean? It happened at a restaurant. That's my thing. Now, if it happens on grounds, that's another thing. Then you got a disciplinary and bring the NBA and bring the Clippers and all that into it. But if these cats going yeah. out to eat. And somebody says something, or you drinking, you had a few extra drinks, or whatever the scenario is, dude say something, you hit him, you playing with him, that's your boy, it happens, you it live the happen. fight another day, they it gonna, is what they're it gonna, is. They're going to try to play that, uh, he's held accountable outside of the Oh yeah, they'll do that. Oh, yeah. Of course, they'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Because he represents the Clipper yeah. organization, of wherever course. he is. They, yeah. they ha like, I get it, they, that they have to do that, but right. I'm saying it's sad, as an athlete, yeah. as a former athlete, yeah. That you really, bro, you really can't do anything. Eyes are you can't. Right. Eyes are without, you know, without, you know what I'm saying, without people looking at and, and say, oh, he did that and putting it on social media, putting it up, putting it up. I think the Clippers ball. definitely have to do some damage control just from a legal standpoint, just in case this friend, even though he's a homeboy, unless he might That's just true. get a wild hair up his butt and be like, okay, well, this did happen, you know, during a company trip, so I do want to sue. Although, I don't think it would be in his best interest to sue because if he ever wants to work in the NBA or no. NFL, he, he won't. You know, that's that's yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. So, but I, but I definitely I think the Clippers have to, you know, look at this from an, a human resources oh, HR yeah. standpoint. But I, I think that a lot of people are making a bigger deal of this than it actually is. Blake Griffin's what, 25, 26? He, yeah, he's man. young and mature. You get in fights with your friends. I'm not excusing violence, whatever, but. 
he's a 26 year old man who got in a fight with his friend. People out there just want something to talk about. Get over it. You know, NBA. Well, we're give, talking about it. You know, no, for yeah. Listen, I mean, it's something to talk about, but I think he's getting more criticism than he actually deserves. Um, I think the NBA should find him just to say that they had some disciplinary action on record for it. Right. Other than that, I don't think this is going to be a huge um, detriment to the Clippers because we've done well with. No, them. I mean they'll still make it the second round and bow out anyway. Oh, so. whatever. Uh, 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 you know, uh, it's not going to matter. You know, yeah, we don't hear that. Yeah, we don't hear that one. <laughs> Lock that out. It's interesting how steady. It'd be like that. Oh, here we go. It's like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Here, let's let's um, play a little game called Would You Rather. Yes. Uh, Raina, did you tell him? I, I, would you I, rather? I prepped him, him a little bit. I prepped him. So uh, would with you? Each no, 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 no. I didn't tell him what questions. She won't tell me what questions. Okay, okay. Exactly. I didn't tell him any questions, but with our guests, we do play Would You Rather. And these questions can vary from your hobbies to your sport to anything so just, it just right and we, we each got two I questions got, to ask I you know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. well, that's on. Right. see my, my questions on the bat i'm gonna start it so would you rather go a year without a haircut or your phone a year without a haircut mm-hmm. so you you need to have your phone on you i feel like that's that's everybody. That's yeah. everybody. Yeah. That's there's the other, is, there's other things. Oh, okay, no. That's fine. That's what I mean, Okay, that's real. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is, no, it ain't gonna be that hard, man. I was just gonna say <laughs> well, listen, would you rather be known <laughs> so as would you rather be known as the best D B in the game or have your own signature shoe? The best D B in the game. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Solid. Um, I'll go. Okay, this is a food question. I like food. Um, would you rather, see, I don't know what your favorite foods are, okay, whatever. Um, would you rather not be able to ever eat pizza a day again in your life or to have to give up sweets? Oh my gosh, that was hard. Dang, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I love sweets. I love Man. sweets. Sweets or pizza, pick I, one. I feel for you, but that's a hard question. I'm going to have to go without the pizza. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think okay. I okay. 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 okay, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Got something for you, my, my fellow Mountain Westerner. Uh huh. Would you rather win $100 million on FanDuel, $100 million <laughs> or on FanDuel, on FanDuel or, or, or on DraftKings? Yeah, or $100 million <laughs> on DraftKings Fantasy Football or sign a $100,000 contract to play football for. Anything. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Okay. One or the other. Wait, wait, wait. One or the other. Wait, wait. wait, wait. So would you rather? Thousand. Would you rather win a hundred million dollars on DraftKings? Mm-hmm. I know. Or get a hundred thousand dollar contract to play? Hundred thousand, a hundred million. That's what he's saying. But that hundred million on DraftKings. It's, oh, it's, it's solid. Man. It's solid. Yeah, that's cash. That's, cash. You, that's I know what in you're the sand. But if you win it on DraftKings, does that mean you can't still play? Yeah, he can't play. No, football. no, you can't. No, can't no, no. You got yeah, an option right now. That does make it hard. Right? So yeah, that makes no it hard. No football. I know it's crazy. Multimillionaire. I know it's on crazy. DraftKings.com. I know it's crazy. So you got a hundred million and a hundred thousand. A hundred million. Now, granted, you can still. No, I ain't gonna say that. No, I ain't gonna say that. I'm leaving. Granted, you can still. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna give you nothing else. I'm gonna take that hundred thousand plan. Oh wow! That's 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 the PC answer right that there. Is a, that you, you is real? a PC answer. A hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars. Then I'll buy a league after that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Raina, would you rather be a famous rapper or an actor? Why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> oh, hold on. A rapper or an actor. an actor? A famous actor, though, right? A famous actor. Yeah, famous act, rap. Acting. Would you? Rap? Yo, you would Hands act. Down, yeah, okay. Acting. I thought yeah. you had a little rap. No, 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 no. Is there some history oh, to this okay. question? This That's like, why I was like, you got some bars or what? No, nah, heck no. <laughs> hey, like, what's up? No, 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 no. Hey, play the instrumental. Run, run it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got one. Would you rather get in a fight with Blake Griffin hmm. or Matt Barnes? Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. 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 That is a good one, though. Well, uh, Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes? Mm-hmm. Have you gotten in a fight with Matt really? Barnes before? No, 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 no. <laughs> he, seems, he seems tougher than Blake to me, man. Like, he's big, though. Blake, Blake, oh, Blake, is, is Blake, Blake will pick on an equipment cat, manager, man. but on the court, he, okay. he's not starting any fights, though. Oh. Blake? Okay. Right, that's what, I thought you'd say Blake, but... Okay. 
Okay, we've asked another guest something similar. So let's say you are trapped in a, I don't know, like a uh, five by seven little itty bitty box space, whatever. Would you rather be trapped in a room for an hour with a thousand flying cockroaches? <laughs> or. If you say snakes for the same question, is I'm it not dark in there? Is it dark in there? Not do yeah, dark. It doesn't matter. No, it's not dark. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. So you're trapped for an hour. A thousand flying cockroaches or a hundred. New York City style rats. Oh, I'm not doing no rats. <laughs> you got first hand experience. Uh, you know, I, mean, uh, I, see, I seen one of those in person. Subway I'm not doing rats. They're huge. A New York I seen one too. New York. Oh my Man. God. They're, They're like cats. No I seen one that was rats, a, uh, about my size. Man, it was big. It was Are big. Are you sure it wasn't your shadow? It meant, no, it was oh. a rat. Oh! Yeah! You see Okay. Go, 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 with your, with your ugly Christmas uh, sweater on. Ah, go on about your, go on about your the, business. The, the Nike go Fly Knit sweater. Christmas, Fly Christmas, Fly Christmas Fly time over with. Go, what's your question? With. You know what? You know, I really don't have any more questions. Oscar cap on your head. I don't have any more questions. That was a hard one that I gave him last time. I only had two. I don't leave it up. That concludes our segment, Would You Rather, with Leon McVadden. Would You Rather play for San Diego State at TCU? Oh. Nah. Oh. Oscar or Bishop? Just kidding. Come on. First of all, uh, wait a minute. Bo Bosco has the better team. Yeah. That's not even. Bishop's very school. We have girls. Oh, oh that's right. Bosco is all boys. It is all boys. Oh, Catholic oh, high school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Josh, we're yeah. going to skip to you and talk about some some more NBA. Josh has a, wants to talk about David Black. Now, you follow the NBA a little bit. A little bit, yes. Okay. I do. How do you feel about LeBron and the Cavs and what's going on there? Oh, with that coach, right? Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what yeah, we're going to yeah, talk yeah, about. Yeah, I know, I know. He, he, he led the team to the finals last year. Yeah. And then this year he started off with 31 and 11, I think, right. with the record, or 30 and 11 before they just up and let him go. See, when I start looking in, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I don't, I don't feel necessarily that LeBron ran him out of there. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I, I, I really? want to believe. Okay. I don't want to believe that he didn't do that. You don't think LeBron is a coach killer? I don't believe that. I don't want to believe LeBron that. LeBron swears he's not. He said he's never disrespected the coach or mm -hmm. undermined the coach in his has whole career. Coach he he, he, made, he has made a he, statement. He, he, he made a it. statement. He said, I've never in my entire life of playing basketball disrespected or undermined the coach in from, my life. From Period. From Pee Wee to all yeah, the way, all way up, up to when he's he playing basketball. So he said he, he not doesn't do it. But do, do you think he was at least consulted or anything? Like asked for his opinion, and yeah. Then, man. I, and I and I again, I don't think he bashed him with that. I don't think he was like, uh, we don't, I don't want him here. I just don't see him doing that. Mm. Okay. I disagree. What y'all think? think? I disagree. Listen, I like LeBron. I'm not one of those people who jumped on the I hate LeBron bandwagon when he left Cleveland. Well, I did actually, but I'm, I'm off of it now. I like him again. <laughs> um, I think LeBron has such influence in all of his professional circles, especially on his team. And you can see like the demeanor and the dynamic between him and Tyron Lue and players. his and the, his players. Like you even said, his, his, players. his players. Those are his players. So enough said, right there. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was malicious particularly, but I think that in LeBron. LeBron's mind, he has a plan that he has a plan in his mind that's going to give him another championship, and he didn't see David Blatt as being a part of that plan. So whether he was like to the general managers, he's got to go, or whether they said, "What do you think?" and he said, "He's got to go," he said something. He said, he something. said something like, "Yeah, I agree that he shouldn't be here." No, yeah. I mean because the whole decision has to be around LeBron, right? Yes. Don't you guys agree? Well, he because is the face of the whole. That's franchise. the franchise, yeah. so it, you have to factor him in somehow. Yeah. For sure. I, th I think it's one of those things. It's almost like a locker room effect type thing. I mean, if if, if anybody's going to make any type of decisions like that on that team, you got to come through LeBron. Mm -hmm. And whatever LeBron says about that team, it's going to trickle down and other people going to hear it. And if you're a player and you're a teammate of his, you kind of want to run with the best. Yeah. He's the best. He's yeah. the greatest. He's one of the greatest players to ever play this game. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it's kind of hard to go against anything that he says about basketball. Exactly. Yeah. Even if it is a coach. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so unbelievable yeah. like to hear that but even if it is a coach so I absolutely think that he said you know what this is not working this is not working for whatever reason that coach may have not been gelling with the players on a personal level or, or on a level outside. that we don't right. we, yeah. we, we don't see, see that we don't see, you know, yeah, that we don't see. see. Yeah. because we know you know yeah. that's important as an athlete well, you it, know what it, I mean it was reported that he had he didn't have the respect of a lot of veteran players in the locker room the so coach right. didn't have the coach didn't the have coach the respect. So, and, I, and I'm pretty sure LeBron is the type of guy who listens to it. I mean, he'll get the opinion of his peers, mm -hmm. and you know what? He'll sit back and look at it, and he's the voice, like you said, that will probably speak up and say something, and, and they'll act on it. 
Yeah, I, I think see. everybody probably came to him. Like yeah. the teammates so. was like, yeah, yeah, LeBron, let him know, man. We, 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 he need to be up out of here. Bro. I think you with I mean? any big move for any team, you're always going to consult your main player. So yeah. I think that, yeah, I, I do agree. I think LeBron had something to say. Yeah, he might have not bashed him like publicly, but like I think he sat with the GM and said, you know, gave voice his opinion, and there's that. Because on paper, you see his record, there's no way, there's no reason why he should have got fired. Yeah. And I, and, and this, that's why I said, again, it's him. It, it's, it, he probably said something, but didn't do it intentionally, I want right. to say, but it said, like, you know what? Enough. Maybe, enough. Yeah. enough. Yeah, 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 yeah said yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was reports that he tried to get um, Eric Spolstra fired yeah, from, he was in from Miami. Miami. Yep. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, that's also, he said, she said, but, I mean. And there was also talk about him just not being uh, coachable when he was yeah. at Miami as well. That, that, there was a period of time, I remember about three months, where people was talking. That was big in the media. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Oh, it was the time he was on the sideline, and um, he said something to the coach. I think the coach. Oh, you yeah, remember yeah, that? He was yeah, on the yeah, sideline yeah. and he yeah. said something oh, to the coach yeah. or, or did a gesture like, like look, I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember and that. It, I remember yeah. that. It's his transpired. body language, too. Yeah. Like, if you can read his body language That's while he's while Eric Spolster was like coaching. You can see him just like disrespect them, disrespect yeah. him like that. So and you, I, you so don't have to his head. He thinks he's doing that on pur- purpose, though. I, I don't think that's the thing. I don't even think that he really like realizes that he's no, doing. I don't that. think yeah, he don't really think so notices either. it. Like I think that's him. That's but his the, demeanor. That's but who, um, who he is. That's yeah. who he is. Yeah. But it's unfor- It's not unfortunate. But fortunately, when you play as well as you are, and you're one of the greatest in the world to play your sport and, and at your trade or whatever it may be. You get to make, you True. get that type yeah. of say so. That's how earned it. He's earned it. You know what I mean? It was the right move for Cleveland, though, as a team. I don't think so. Ooh. I don't think so. Like she just said, mm. on paper, it doesn't look like the right. It doesn't look right. like it. it doesn't but, look yeah, like it. So. But at the mm. end of the day, if that chemistry is not there and you don't feel like we're going to be like a, a whole unit, yeah. right, then you got to take that bad piece out the puzzle. Because you need that chemistry for to contend for a title. You exactly. do. You can't win a title without it. Right. See, nah. I think it was probably the right move to get rid of David Blatt. Mm-hmm. But maybe not to hire Tyron Lue. That's because, right. Because they, they, they went right into that. Ty- they went right into oh, you didn't hit him. Yeah. So, so David Black got fired <laughs> literally that same day within within the same hour. Tyron Lue was announced to a three year contract as the head coach. Years. Not even an interim tag. No interim. So went from being yeah. assistant straight. to well, straight head coach. Straight, straight. head coach. They didn't oh, like even a consider trial. anybody. No, else. Yeah. They had it already planned. It, it looks like it, right? What do you think about it, that? It, and, it, and that's why I think it it's, happened too fast. It happened too fast. It had to be. They were already planning that. They were waiting for that. So I don't think that was a good move because. It looks shady. It looks like there's been a lot of collusion behind the yeah. scenes. Obviously, there has been because he wouldn't have been um, given that three-year contract had there not been. And I think long term, like you have people like Kevin McHale who's out there without a coaching job. How are you gonna give Tyron Lue over um, a head coaching job over Kevin McHale? That doesn't make sense to me. I think another thing that has to do with it is like how young Tyron Tyron Lue, mm-hmm. Lue is. Like I think he's trying. He would be the type of coach. I don't. I'm just throwing this out there that he would. Want to please like the play- LeBron, please LeBron, and please oh, Kyrie, yeah. Yeah. please, please kind of love instead of thinking about what's good for the whole team. Yeah, because he's a player, he wants to be yeah. like you know the homie. And I think um, what with Luke Walton coaching the Warriors, I think maybe Cleveland had something like thinking, oh Luke did a really good job. Maybe we should have somebody younger and yeah. you know coach. But it's different. I yeah, mean, I don't know. I, so. I, I really think I think I don't think that it was a bad move. Um, the reason why I don't think it was a bad move is because there Cleveland is a very very young team. You Ooh. know what I mean? Like they're they're one of the youngest teams in the NBA. True. You know what I mean? So in order for they all know who Tyron Lewis is. They grew up Watch watching yeah, him play. They've yeah. seen him win championships. They've seen him play with the Lakers. The song gets stepped they, over. That's Everybody, everybody remembers that. Absolutely, absolutely. But what I'm saying is, they've grew. It's like an athlete when you grow up watching somebody, you know him. You're more relatable to him. Yeah. Then they're more subjective to listen to him. You know what I mean? Now he may not. He may not be. Respect. He has that respect. He does. But he's like a baby. It's like your homeboy. He He might be the next person punch in the restaurant. You know. But he's but he's won he's won championships. He's played with some of the greatest players who ever played the game. Playing with the Lakers, he's played with some he's of the coached greatest under players. Doc Rivers he's, and Celtics. Right, he, exactly. On my next point, he's already coached under a, a phenomenal coach. Who, who, so he's getting experience. He's he's getting the the knowledge to to do what he needs to do. And I think he deserves a shot. Now, three years ain't nothing. You know what True. I mean? That's the thing you gotta realize too. Yeah. He might be out of there 
tomorrow. 367th day of the next year. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? But he's got a chance to prove himself, and I think that the chemistry with him and LeBron and the fact that the players are young, I think it may work, and it may not. He's got big shoes to fill. It's a lot yeah. of pressure on him, yeah. but we're going to see we're gonna see what he does. Yeah, I think it was a good move, yeah. though. I think it was a good move. All you can do is see how he do it. Right. That's it. Yeah. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. <laughs> Or uh, let's see. Oh, you want to go wanna to do? yeah? Go ahead, Demar- yeah. Demarcus Cousins out in public. <laughs> so the NBA All Star uh, game is in two weeks now in mm-hmm. Toronto, and they just yes. announced the rest of the reserves today. Um, Demarcus Cousins, arguably one of the arguably the best big man in the league right now. Mm-hmm. Um, he had some comments about how the starters were chosen. So the NBA uh, took out the center position and just opened up to the fans like who's your who's the top five um, players that should be starting. DeMarcus made some comments saying you know it's unfair because one it's disrespectful for the big men mm-hmm. and um, two like the current way of owning he feels that maybe maybe the coaches and the players should have some say so in, in picking the starters so what do you guys think about the current voting system right now like do you think it's only it should be only for fans for the starters only or do you think the players and coaches should have some um, say so in it I think both I think both? the players and coaches should have some say so in it as well because they I mean they, they know they're professionals right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they critique criticize you know know each other and not only, I mean, the fans watch, you know, but from a, that's the outside perspective. With the coach and players working with you together, and they they know who should be that guy or those five starting guys. So right. I like I, I have to go with both of them. Mm. Okay, what about you guys. I'm just gonna say I think it should just be a fan vote. Um, I do because when you think about all the things that really, really matter in sports, except for in baseball. Baseball is the only um, professional sport of the major four where the All-Star game really matters. So whoever wins that the game gets home field advantage yeah, for that, the World Series. That's true. Pro that's Bowl, true. no one's checking for Pro Bowl, no offense. You know, yeah. no one's, you know, the NBA All-Star game, you know, you have 200 points on offense. No one's checking for that after the concert's over. You're just going, <laughs> you're going to the clubs, the strip clubs, like you're there, you're there for the party. So because it's such a, it's such a trivial aspect of sports, why not let fans have full involvement? Because when it comes to the draft, when it comes to making blockbuster trades, when it comes to cutting players, when it comes to actual things that matter, that those, those are all... Gonna be, that game's going to be around. You know, like that, that, those are personnel decisions that coaches and you know and GMs are making when it comes to the stuff that matters. Nobody cares about All Star games. True. Mm. I know, the NBA was a little different, different to me though. Like, it, I think people care. They like to watch the NBA All Star game, or is that just me? I, I feel know, like I feel, I feel like, like it's, it's something fun to watch. watch. It. Yeah. It's something fun to watch, but at the same time, you could kind of see what she was saying about. Yeah, it's for the, the fans. Fan it's, 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 it's a fan the vote. Fans. More so. no, I, I, I agree with that. I think the, the starting thing. five at least should be the fans because fans want to see the, the exciting players that they you know tune in to see. They always wonder, hey, what if this great player got together with that great player mm-hmm. and what would happen if they yeah. played against yeah, each other? That, you know, yeah, they they want to see that. They want to yeah. see matchups like that. Right. You know, so keep that with the fans. But I say you still got to keep your you, the, the integrity of your positions. Point guards, shooting right. guards, mm-hmm. you know, Great. forward, center. True. Because I think all those, like, there were players who deserved to be in that to starting true. five as a at center. At their position. At their, yeah, at their exactly. position. Exactly. Exactly. I agree they didn't get a chance to do it. So pick within the positions. But I, well, like, I can't wait here, to see what you Here's what I, I propose, though. What if, what if they did it this way? What if they pick, there's 15 players uh, picked for the team. The first five, the starting lineup, is done by the fans. And mm-hmm. the next 10 are player and coach um, it's well, a combination of player and coach like votes. You don't like it? I don't, be- I don't, because, I don't think that Because the players and coaches, and coaches know who deserves, you know, deserve, deserve, who deserves, deserves to be there. That might not be the guy on sports in their top ten every night, but they know they put in the hustle every night, mm-hmm. and the fans like might said, not recognize that. Well, I mean, he, does, but, he doesn't get that much recognition. Like yeah. who? who I'd say? Yeah, no. Cousins doesn't get that much recognition. Yeah, well, What's DeMarcus that? also is saying that, um, you know, people, the players that got picked, most of their games, the starters, are nationally televised. Like, they're... They have games on ESPN. They have games on TNT shake, and stuff. Shake. They have bigger, but but there's True. also teams that don't get public. <laughs> like he had two games on national TV. I think it was two, and the rest of these players had like games almost every night. And so he's saying that like, hey, I'm a really good player. I'm I'm sure he's speaking of himself, but he's a really good player, which he is, and he doesn't really get any play any games on ESPN. It sounds so like he's going to a better team. Well, because nobody wants to check for you but know. But I'm saying like that's Orlando it. But, like, versus I think, the Kings or something. I think it should be, <laughs> but no, maybe I think the fans I mean, I think the NBA should be, like, fair on these teams getting 
National, National Cup? Yes. Oh, no. So this is a whole different yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are going to want to tune in to a small market team. Let's hear what Dre has to say about the... No. Dre, what do you have to say about the fans? That's ratings. Deal with what I got to say. Shut up and play the game. People don't want to see you out there, so you're not going to be out there. The bottom line is the All-Star game... Ten days after the All Star game, ain't nobody even gonna be talking ten about days, the All Star game. Ten minutes after it goes, you know, you understand what I'm saying? It's not they don't forget about it. They don't forget about it. Right? You know what I mean? And and it's for the people. It's for the people to have a good time to see. They want to see dunks. They want to see high. They want to see alley hoops. They want to see up and down the court. Ain't nobody trying to see no yeah. center. Defense, fire. I don't nobody yeah. care about that. They don't even play defense. When somebody go to dunk, they center? step back like hey, you did that. that. You know what I mean? You gotta have the team. You gotta have a full. But the thing about this is, you can't even name me five centers. Who's 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 flat? Who's dominant enough and who's yeah. consistent enough to even be a an all star? What is Davis, an all star? Chris Bosh. What is Chris an all star? Bosch. You're reaching with Chris Bosh. You're reaching with Chris Bosh. DeAndre, 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 you know he's gonna be in there. What, what I'm saying is when you <laughs> speak of an all star. An all star is a, one of the a great a great player all around exciting an all star. It's not a lot of centers. It's not a lot of power forwards that can that can do that. Well, I just and, and 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 a lot of the centers these days aren't like the centers back in the day, like, man. I the mean, centers like Shaq, back in the day. but Shaq was like entertainment. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. I, mean, I don't think there's gonna be another guy like right. Shaq for entertainment, I mean, dancing, he, all of that. Bringing down the house. I mean, people. It's all about show. People like to see the show, and a lot of these cats they they don't yeah. have personalities. Yeah. In terms of how basketball is played, though, you, but it's not. It's that that, that game is about having fun. You got all it's the not positions not, covered. Wait, so hold on, I'm confused. So fun. wait, so do you think? So you think that fans and players, I mean, fans, players, and coaches should have a vote? I think that all of them should have a vote. Okay. But at the same time, that game is only based for the fans. The fans. Okay. Josh, what do you think? Yeah, I'm with you. At least let the fans pick the top five, the starting five, because that's who they want to see. That's what they want. Leave it like it is. Reina, I well, I didn't. Well, I think it's fans, players, and coaches. But I, w I just want to say that that Demarcus, like, I feel as I feel his frustration. I think as a player, I get it's for the fans, but as a player, the All Star game being picked as an All Star is a really big accomplishment yeah, for the players. So the player. I feel his frustration and taking that out. Like, it's like being picked for All League All Conference. Oh, yeah. If all, you don't make first team NBA conference, team. but this fool makes first team conference, like that's gonna yeah, really. Yeah, but you also understand that the best players, they're gonna pick the best players based off of the stats and the performance and the stats? team. No, 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 no,
that's basically the, the, the base of it. Cause, um, when do you turn up? Where's your turn up time? The LA time. The LA time. <laughs> okay, but yeah, the put LA, it out the, there. The, yeah, the, LA, okay. the LA time. You gotta have that. Yeah, the LA time home. is the turn up time. Okay. You, you, you keep repping um, Inglewood. Yeah. How do you feel about the stadium and the Rams? Yeah, yeah, LA yeah, Rams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's, that's that's gonna be really good for the city of Inglewood. Yeah. City of champions. But they that property. You know, well, that's yeah. going up. That property. Everybody took the house off the property. I know a couple of my parents' friends took. They were selling it, and then they took it off. Heck yeah! Because the market went through the roof. Yes. Yeah. I would, I, anybody who was invested recently in that, good yeah. job. They, they knew. They knew something. Yeah. They knew. Yeah. They knew. Yeah. They had insight. For real. Yeah. For real. Yeah. When they not stadium them down, they knew. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I think stadium. that's gonna be good because you know they did redid the great what's the, check it's called Chase, right? I think now. Yeah, yeah. Chase. Yeah. 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 And they re, they're doing that. That's doing good. So I think that whole area is gonna be a, a good thing for good urban thing city. Good thing for the city. Absolutely. For shout Any other tidbits y'all wanna ask Leon? Any other? Interesting personal questions that you think the fans might want to know. You want to share anything with us that you think you haven't shared already that you think the fans would be interesting, interested in knowing? What's your uh, favorite television show? Ooh, you know what I'm going to say? What? Scandal. No. Bombs. Okay, look. I was. Gonna I know what you're going to say now. <laughs> well, because you ain't. Hey. No, what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm, I'm tired. Tired. I know. I'm, I'm not detail so I'm, I'm, I'm not Ricky J. I knew I'm that. I knew that. <laughs> You oh, no. I already I already get, you get that a lot, right? Oh, a lot. Man. I already know. You done oh, got it man. at least three times this week man, I in that, LA. Man. Right. I get that all but the time. When I, when I want to get the lights, they say shit on that. Yeah. Man. Not that you're not pulling any any girls already. I'm just saying you can get a few more. I'm just saying, Ricky Jarrett, I I haven't watched the show Ballers. But you gotta watch it, bro. Man, I it's heard it's a dope, it's heard a dope it's, show, man. It's, it's a dope it's show, good. man. You gotta check it out, man. I got, I gotta go out. with a, you know, I, I do follow. I say Empire, man. Okay. And then Empire. This one okay. that probably nobody like really liked, The Walking Dead. That was something that I got into okay. in college. Okay. But I say Empire be the most recent thing that I really watched. Okay. Solid. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, um, Leon, you're awesome. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, you know, you are. You Mom are West, with us. Mom West, Mom West, West, West you know, so in the building, man. Uh -huh. You are so good. I'm glad that you jumped in on, on our arguments with us because we will fight to the bloody <laughs> death. <laughs> and <laughs> you, you were right at home. Hey, they, I was, I was warned. I was prepared <laughs> mentally. <laughs> so hey, okay. so I was ready okay. for anything. All for right. Sure. Guys out there, thank you for watching The Branded Athlete every Thursday night at 7 p.m. I'm Erica Renee Davis. You can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope at Erica Renee D. Andre the Giant, you know what it is. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Andre the Giant, A-U-N-D-R-E-T-H-A-G-I-A-N-T. Holla at me. Reina Ale, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope at Reina underscore Ale. As always, it's your boy Joshua Johnson. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at JJ the Talented. And as always, follow all things Black Hollywood Live on BlackHollywoodLive.com. Follow Black Hollywood Live on Twitter at BHL Online. Uh, is that right? Yeah, at BHL Online. And then also follow us on Instagram at The Branded Athlete. Where can they follow you, Leon? Uh, Lee Mac 2, L E E underscore M A C 2. And that will be my Instagram, and that's all I have for you guys. You don't have a Snapchat? No for Snapchat. Now. For now, Bro, for now. I guess I got to get a Twitter or something. Twitter. 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 Hey, brother, don't get nothing that you don't want, brother. Because that that's just more than trying to get you. That's just more than trying to get you. Don't get it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching The Branded Athletes. See you next Thursday night at 7. Thank you, Leon. Round of applause. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Christian, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood, Hollywood redefined. redefined. The views expressed here are those of the host owner and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.